What's going on YouTube? Wanted to do a overview of a Vital 2. This is the full deployment kit. And so I will show you what comes with them, kind of like an unboxing. I'll do an overview of the actual laser unit. And I'll actually we'll go outside. I'll do a demonstration of the different functions, different modes and features under night vision with the Vital 2. So pretty cool. This is a early 2000s kit. I'll go straight to the laser. And we'll get back to the contents in a bit. That's so what we got. This one happens to be painted. Obviously, these come in black. And Vital 2. There is three models of the Vital. You have the Vital 1 and Vital 2. The 1 and 2 are both the civilian class 1 laser units, which means it's eye safe. And it's a pretty low power because it's restricted. The Vital 100 is the full power. It, it actually is extremely powerful. I believe it's 100 milliwatts, uh, which if you compare that to a PEC-15, that is about two to three times the power if you compare the power of the laser and the illumination. So this is a two beam unit. We have the illuminator and I believe the laser comes out of here. You have a battery cap here. This comes out in a pretty unique way. What you have is, so you unlock it. This now frees the secondary lock for the battery cap. At this point, you will take this clockwise while also pulling away. And you have, have a tethered battery cap. It takes two AA batteries. You can see the indicators, how they go. So, and I'll probably replace these batteries. They're pretty degraded. I'm not a fan of actually having Acaline batteries in my high-end electronics either. And so I'm gonna replace these batteries after the video is done. So make sure the gasket's nice and sealed. Press this down best I can. Get this latch in and to lock it in. Everything's locked in, so that's how you place the battery. Different adjustments. Features a arms QD mount. This is a toolless mount to take it on and off. It is non-adjustable, so keep that in mind. You're gonna want to use mil spec rails or else you may have an issue with it being too tight or too loose. So getting back to it, uh, the only difference between the Vital 1 and 2 is the adjustability. So you can actually raise and lower the power in this unit compared to the Vital 1. However, this is class 1. It's a civilian legal IR laser unit. And generally, you're going want to want to run this in full power maximum power all the time because it's it's not going to have any splash it's not going to have a significant increase or decrease in performance by having adjustability generally you're always going to want it in full power you got different modes this is the opposition and then you have different modes which i'll demonstrate when we get outside and i'll show you it on the nods but yeah, this is the unit. In the kit, we have a barrel clamp. So this goes, if you have the two-piece polymer handguard for an AF-15, this is a barrel clamp, it goes underneath that. You have a rail that goes where the vent holes are, and then you actually clamp the um, Vital to this pick and continue rail. And it clamps in, that's how it locks in, retains zero. Pretty cool. You have the instructions here. Um, but yeah, it allows you to mount an IR laser unit while also keeping the typical clamshell two piece drop in rail or handguard system. And the last thing we have is we have a zero target. I 
how much to save it. And then the Night Vision Equipment Go or NVEC. Different models. Tells you the general instructions. Pretty cool. But this is a uh, clone correct. These were used in the GWAT, the Global One Terror by US Armed Forces. So these are correct. You may see them on lots of military service weapons. However, it's relatively uncommon. The insights, the pecs, the L3s, they were used a lot more. However, you do see the NVEC, the Vitals and the Tillers on there. So there's that. That's the overview. Let's go outside. Let's have a demonstration of the lasers and the function. And before I go, I do want to add that when you look at the label, you can see the exact year and month it was manufactured. So this was made in 2003, up December. Pretty cool. These do come with two remote switches. This one's the paddle or thumb switch. If you guys can imagine, if it's mounted on the rail, your support hand will naturally be here. Just reach up and activate it. This does not have any other fire button on the body. So the only way to activate these lasers is the momentary pads. In this case, the paddle. It also typically comes with the remote cable, which I have on another setup. But this is the only way to activate it. Make sure your Vital comes with the pads or else it's non-functional as it is. Alrighty, so I'm now outside. Got my Vital 2. Excuse the angle, I know it's slightly cut off. However, I'm doing this one-handed with a iPhone adapter. And it doesn't want to play super well, but you get the general idea. And it's only slightly cut off, so best I can do given the context. So here we are. As you can see, down the center we have a tree that's about 25 yards. The very end is a fence, about 60 yards. It's a pretty dark day. I do have some lights, but you have a good idea of what's going on. So here we are. It's going to be right here. It's not going to focus because you can only have one focus with a monocular. Let me turn this all the way over. So now we're in the off position. I'll turn it to the first position, which is laser only. So pretty good laser. This is 25. We got out to 50. Very, it's actually quite usable. The laser is uh, pretty effective. And it is a momentary switch only. So I can double tap. Doesn't matter. It's momentary only. There is no constant on with these with this laser. Do my next switch. Actually, going back, I want to demonstrate one thing. So I showed you before how there is adjustability. You can power it down. In this case, it is at max power, but I'll power it down. If I can. So power down. Oops, sorry, I don't know. This is a switch. It's fighting me because it's momentary only. You only got one hand to mess with it. So this is me turning the, the power down on the laser. As you can see, not much is happening because this is a, a class one laser civilian power there's not much power to had to be had in these units in general and so even if i power it down to reduce the intensity not much is going to happen i'm going to try to turn it up let's see if you can't see any difference this is me turning it up not much change you know the the feature of the adjustability is not much in the vital 2 it's probably more of a function of the Vital 100, which is a full power laser. It would make a lot more sense in that aspect. Let's go back to the modes. We got pulsating laser. This is pulsating slow. This would make a lot of sense if you are 
in the military context, you're trying to mark a target, you're trying to get the attention of an aircraft. That's the intended purpose of having a pulsating laser. Next one we got is, this is pulsating high, pretty fast. Next one we got, just another constant on. And it does appear that the illuminator is on. This may be a, um, let's see. Yes, the uh, CQB illuminator is on, but at a low power mode on this setting. So constant on with low power illuminator. And next one we got is we have high illuminator and high laser. Keep in mind this is a CQB illuminator only, it is not adjustable. And so it has a very, very wide flood. You can see at 60 yards, it's hard to focus. I can very easily see that tree. I can get very good PID with the illuminator, but this is at 25 yards, pretty floody. This is more intended for like room distance because this would be ideal in the room. But once I start going out to, let's see the tree all the way in the back at 60, you can see it pretty good. The illuminator does have a little bit of artifacts. It's not a perfect circle. Um, but yeah, that's the Vital 2. That's the different modes. That's the performance under night vision. It is a moonless night, and so it's a pretty good demonstration of the Vital 2. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it.